What's up everybody? A lot of mahi yesterday and one, you know, smaller sword. Today we only got one mahi drifting and there's just the weeds not out here and that's a lot of times what determines if there's gonna be mahi out where we're sword fishing. There's no weed coming by, but we just hooked up on a swordfish third drop, 11.06 out in 1600 feet of water. And he's swimming up with it, so. There's no telling, the fish was coming up real quick, so it was acting like a big one, hopefully it's so good. Sometimes you can't tell if they get off, you know, when they're swimming up, because it's light and you can't tell always, but I think he's still there coming up, so we'll find out soon. Fingers crossed, could be our day. Get him in the head, get him in the head. Nice job. All right, turn the motor off. Oh, we got him, guys, we got him. Oh, right to the boat. High five, awesome. very nice. Very nice. That's the right one we're after, Nick. Oh, we just barely missed him with a dart I gaffed him. I fell under the gun, I hit my ribs. I gotta get more meat on them ribs. Look at that beautiful fish there, you guys. Look at that sword. Nice one. It's a good one. We spent two days after him, you guys. A couple years ago, we fished two days. We got a small one, we let go. Yes, sir, we got a small one. One bite today, third drop. And this one looks like he's pushing 150, maybe more. He's a nice fish. And that fish didn't fight that much when he came up because he swam that lead up so fast. And that lead probably wore him out a bit. And we got him before he knew what happened. The harpoon didn't go in. What happened, John? I don't know. We just missed. Swing and a miss? Swing and a miss. But we got him. Nice fish there. We got the steaks now. Quite a few steaks. Yep. Outside in on that mahi belly. We just rigged that bait this morning. I believe you said that was the one. I did say that was the one. I did say that was the one. I didn't tell him I said that with everyone I rigged out, but it's true. You never know when it's gonna be the one, and that is right there. Nice fish, you guys. Yeah, we need a scout. Where can I get one from? What's your commission? Yeah. And we hooked up with that swordfish there. There's two other boats out here. They each hooked up two within 20 minutes. Nothing all morning, so they just turned on and started feeding. But we got a nice little bonus mahi while we are doing that, and we got one mahi earlier. Let's get him out of here. Well, like 18 to 20 knots, you guys just want to show you a little bit of that. Most of all, 20 to 22 knots in the next couple days, so we'll see what happens. They were canceling tomorrow already. Once it gets over 20 to 25 knots, it's pretty rough and hard to swordfish, rig lines, stuff like that. Alrighty, we're doing some deep dropping you guys. We're just drifting out here. You can deep drop anywhere from 400 feet to a thousand feet and got our baits on the bottom, hoping for a bite. Nick, don't let your dad out fish you. Try. No, but we're forward, that's why. We got one on him. What oh, we got? A tile or a grouper? You got your little grouper. It's snowy, nice. There you go, that's right there, snap it. Turn it up. Nice snowball. We'll take him. That's a snowy grouper. You can tell it's a snow because it got white little dots on them. Sometimes when they get real big out deep, they lose them. The brown got those white little polka dots on them. We got a color. This will 
get them down deep there. So that's a sequelizer. John's buddy Jeffrey and Pat make them. It'll get the fish down deep, it'll open up. That way you're not puncturing them. We're only had to keep one snowy grouper per boat. And um, we got it set on 300 feet. So once it gets down 300 feet, it'll release. And, and that's his stomach that's sticking out. So we don't want to pop his stomach and puncture his stomach. So that'll give him the best shot of surviving. We'll go back down looking for tilefish now. And when he comes up there, you'll know that because the spool will speed up here. The reel will be going slow and steady, and all of a sudden it'll speed up, and then you know the clip opened up. Just like that. Ta-da! Ta He's sequelized. You've been getting all the grouper and all the swordfish. Nick needs to get on the board. Then you got a hot heat. All right, we got another deep drop fish on here. No telling what it is. Anything could eat squid. Could be a grouper, could be a tile. We don't want any more snowies. We already got our limit of snowies. We'll let one go. We could use a tile or a yellow edge. That'd be good. Yellow edge grouper would be nice. This is my yellow edge spot. He's floating up. Might be that old yellow edge. It is. There you go. Yellow edge grouper, guys. Nice. Awesome. Yes. First one of the season. Nice yellow edge. Perfect. Nick, you redeemed yourself. This grouper is bigger than yours, boss. Oh, he's listening to us. He's not paying no. a bit of attention. There you go. That's a yellow edge grouper. Very similar to snow, except they got yellow fin tips. I think we're eating grouper heads now. We got snowy grouper and yellow edge grouper. His eyeballs popped out of his head because the deep water he came up from. 600 feet of water there. Beautiful though. Yellow edges, white dots. That's how you know it's a yellow edge. Yellow edges around its fin tips. Right there on his dorsal end is uh, peck fins. Some of you guys asked, you know, what fun is it to use an electric reel? It depends where you fish. There's not much current, you know, you can get away with a light lead and hankering is much easier. But when you're out here in the Gulf Stream off South Florida, we got to use a heavy lead. And we're just trying to catch dinner. We're not trying to set any records. And I promise everybody's smiling on the boat, having fun today. What do you think, grouper or tile? Looking for tile today. What do you think it is, John? Uh, I'm not sure. Saltwater fish? I think it's dinner. We got color. Oh yeah, nice tile. There you go, you got your tile. There nice we go. You guys look at fish and we'll the lead. There you go. Nice tile fish there. It's a good blue line. That's a seven, eight pounder right there. That's eight pounder all day. There you go. It's a blue line tile fish. They got a blue line underneath their eye, also known as a gray tile. That right there, that hooks a 6 0 circle like a VMC. A little chunk of squid on that one right there, you can see. Well, there we go. That's a wrap. Oh, we got one more up here, too. There you go. You didn't get skunked. You got the big swordfish. A little rosy? Yeah, it's like a rosy without a black rosy. belly. A little bit different. Pretty fish though. All right, well that wraps it up, you guys. We're gonna run back to Bud Murray's. We'll see you back in there. Wind's picking up. You can see a lot of white caps. It was quite a bit rougher, even out deeper. There's a lot more current out there. There's not as much current here today. But we'll see you back at the dock. How much does he weigh? It's heavy. He is fat. How much you say there, Sam? I'm guessing 154, you guys heard it there. Oh, 173, there you go. 173-pounder, you guys, nice fish. But I'm really excited about that yellow edge grouper, that snowy grouper. I don't know, we're gonna cook part of it up, either the head, the throat, the backbone, maybe all of it. If I could find Mike, Jamaican Mike, he could uh, he could guide me, because he's good at that stuff. Mike, yeah, man. what you got, coconuts over there? Yeah, I'm gonna just get some coconuts, you know? Some jelly coconuts. Mike's getting some coconuts. Yeah, I'm gonna get some jelly coconut and some of the dry coconut that can make rice and peas, you know? So, Have we yeah. made, I got grouper. You wanna do grouper head or throat or backbone? Fry it or something? Any yeah. ideas? Yeah, man. Here, check the grouper out. Yeah, all right, yeah. Here we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. We can eat them up, right? Yeah, man, we can chef it up somehow. Okay. Yeah, we'll do something with it for sure. Yeah, I, you know? <laughs> I just said his name and there he comes, he shows up. Mike says we're gonna chef it up. I don't know how we're doing it yet, but stay tuned, it's coming. Yeah, man, big up, you know, big up to everyone. You see the big, the swordfish coming, so I'm gonna come over, you know? So, there you go. massive, that's big up, see? It? So yeah, yeah. he gets excited when he sees grouper heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. Oh,
yellow edge grouper. We're gonna cook them. They're gonna eat the fillets. We're gonna do something like that with his head or his throat, maybe his back, but I don't know yet. But just like every fish up by his head, work our way down by his tail. Oh, look how good this looks, super white meat. You're all gonna think you died, went to heaven when you eat this. Even the wives are gonna love this. Yellow edge grouper. What we're gonna do, we're gonna save the carcass and do something like this. Now we're gonna feed Joey the carcass. He might eat some of that. There you go. I'll eat it. I'll oh, yeah, and he's starving. He's got three kids at home. That's right. Anything I can get. You get the fillets, we get the carcass. We'll see you guys back in the kitchen. I don't know what we're doing yet. But we're doing something. <laughs> Sadie, you show him like your new bed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> she's like, come on, come on. She said, no. She said, watch the fan. Watch the fan. Sadie yeah. got a new bed, you guys. She got a bunk bed. She's added a little bed. You <laughs> like your new bed? Do you do? All right, what are we making, Mike? Yeah, man, I'm gonna have the fish. What's up? Yeah, man, big up, you know? We're here, Jamaica Mike is here, you know? Yeah, man. So I'm gonna steam it up today. What I'm gonna do is like steam it down with some vegetables, you know? Some fresh thyme and some spinach and some carrots and some zucchini and stuff. I'm gonna make like a, I'm just gonna make a dinner. I'm gonna make a dinner out of it. So I'm gonna make a pumpkin rice. So with the pumpkin, I'm gonna get that cut up and boil it out. Yeah. So yesterday, Mike cleaned this fish up. I helped a little bit. And um, what'd you put on for seasoning? Yeah, I'm just kinda, now, you know, you could put salt and pepper as well, you know, just because basically, most of you can just put salt and pepper on fish. But I kinda just put some fish seasoning and a little garlic and some of the uh, Everglades seasoning I like to. And this, yeah, and some adobo. Yeah, and just kind of season it all up together. And then this season now, we're gonna mix in with the vegetable when I steam on everything. Right in the pan and the oven, you know? See, in the roughest, toughest, it doesn't know. Yeah, one. Just kind of peel it off, huh? It's not easy to peel either, you know? You wanna try some, Sadie? You do? Say yes. Cause I'm real thin, you know? Cause I'm gonna I'm boil it out in the water. Yeah, in Jamaica, we just call it pumpkin, but it's like a squash. You know, certain places call it different name and stuff. So I got the water boiling right here, you see that? So let me just put some salt, you know? Put a little salt, you know, just to balance up. Put salt, and we'll just drop the pumpkin in there and make it boil. So that gonna boil right out. So this is the original pumpkin rice, so you have to boil out the pumpkin and so, you know? So I think that's enough pumpkin right there. And just put a, I put a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of that. I'll drop a piece of butter in there too. I mean, I could put the butter later, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put a piece of butter in it as well. And make that boil right out. So that's gonna boil right out to cream. So kind of base the bottom of the pan, you know? Kinda, I want to stick, you know? Can't answer the call right now, you know? Yeah. It's cooking time. Right in here, the chayote. Perfect. Yeah, man. So, all right, so I'm we'll gonna drop all that in, you know? Do that same thing. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the fish in there with it. Kind of mix everything in. There we go. That's from the other fish. We got rid of the other head, but that's it, the rest of the fish right there. So, the bread table gets kind of seasoned up too, you know? Just rub everything in. You see a lot of meat on here, you know? For real, guys. Woo! Bone just got me. Right here. Don't see, you gotta be got. careful. Yeah, I just got got. Just got got right here. That's what I'm gonna do. It's from the sauce of the fish gravy. I'm gonna throw that over it, too. So, extra gravy and a little bit of juice. You gotta spring its own little juice and everything, you know? See that, guys? Shake it up a little bit. Yeah, you know? Boom, bam. See that just like that? Boom, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. You don't wanna lock everything in, you know? Right in there. Yeah, you know? Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, we're gonna drop it right in the oven right now. Everything gonna steam down real proper. 350, perfect. 
gone straight in. Yeah. So that's it right there. Fish it in the oven. Yeah, man. For real. You ever see a fish it in the oven before? I'm about to. <laughs> yeah, man. Straight. What's going on over here? Oh, yeah. So now back to the rice and thing. So straight. So we're we'll going to cook up the rice. So you see the pumpkin cook right out. You don't have to cook completely out. You can have little pieces in there too when you're eating it. Normally in Jamaica we wash our rice and everything, but you don't have to. So I'm not gonna wash the rice today. Because then I can get a better, better measurement on it too. Just enough rice. So you know just as it comes out good, you know? Make sure it's tasty. Yeah, it's tasty, but I'll put a little tip of salt. So a little tip of salt just to balance them out. That's good. I should balance it all right there. So yeah, that's the pumpkin rice going cook down right now. So this is good. All I'm gonna do is cover him up and let him start boil up on medium, and then we'll just drop and make everything simmer. Yeah, man. Boom, bam. Jamaica Mike, you know. One more time. See? Yeah, man. Big up all of the fans, you know. So I'm gonna take this out. I can smell it, Nick. Yeah. I'm gonna take it out for a minute. I'll smell it. For a little while. This oatmeal spoon. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Be used for fish too. <laughs> oh wow, Nick! So it's you now you know. Nick's oatmeal's gonna taste like fish tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So I'm just add some spinach over it. Yeah. Yeah. Normally I wash the spinach, but this time it can go. It's already washed. I'm gonna put it back, Nick. I'm gonna cover it and put it back in the, in the oven. Hi, baby. Hey, how are you? <laughs> you wanna try that fish in a little while? <laughs> All right, 400. 400 times. All right, perfect. So we drop that in. I got 30 minutes or so, you know. It's gonna take a little while, it's still 30 minutes. So this side I put the father steam down. See, this is almost ready now. That's the pumpkin Ooh, rice right it? there. Okay. It's yeah. Oh. Well well it's you guys call it squash. Calabaza. So see, calabaza squash, squash apparently. He calls yeah. it pumpkin Good. pumpkin yeah. squash. There you go. Yeah, this one from Costa Rica, but we have him in Jamaica too. And Jamaicans just call it pumpkin. No I'm learning. So there we go, and then he press the no. bricks. I'm gonna use the brakes and get you. Hey, show says you can ride the scooter. Yeah, come on. Show us you can ride the scooter. Yeah. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Whoa. I think it's ready. Here we go. Yeah, come on. So, Sadie, good? Yeah. yeah. All right, perfect. All right. I'm gonna take it out now. This should be ready. Let's turn the oven some more, you know? We got it. Yeah, it smells good. Woo! Yeah! Look at that. Wow, yeah, that's what I was looking for. See, a piece yeah. of the fish coming off on here, too. Who first want to try it? This is it. Sauce steamed up, ready. There's the vegetables and stuff. And the sauce. Yeah, it's very hot, guys. And the spinach and the chayote, nice and soft. And it yeah. took a little bit longer to cook than we realized. We had to bump up the heat in there and whatnot. Yeah. But if you guys were here, I wish you could smell it. It smells very good. Yeah, come on. So we're just gonna serve it up, grab plates, and just get some rice and put whatever you want on the rice. <laughs> Do you like it, Claire? It's Jamaican squash. <laughs> All right, we made up some squash for her. Yeah, Claire doesn't yeah, seem to love the pumpkin squash. Yeah, Let's see what she makes. You like How it? is it, baby? <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> I don't know if she likes it. I don't think she likes the pumpkin squash. She's almost six months old, that's baby Claire. Yeah, we're starting to get her balance, some strength, grabbing yeah. onto things and uh, sitting upright. So we're just feeding her a little bit of food the last month here. <laughs> For real. Oh, is it? It's, prob is it? <laughs> it's probably <laughs> the texture. <laughs> it's it's kind of like stringy. I might eat the eyeball. Look at the eyeball. There's the eyeball. Yeah, see the eyeball right there. Sadie, do you want to eat the grouper eye? Yeah. Oh. You do? <laughs> you want to try it? The pearl came out. So check it out in his eyes and we get a fork. So if you see right here, see, his, his eye is easy to eat now, just take out this, here's the pearl from his eye. I'm gonna keep this. This is a little more solid. Yeah. So. Give it to Claire. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the last one I eat was a fry one, right? Yeah. So that's the old eyeball right there, coming out. Are you gonna eat it? I eat it, but it gotta cool off first. Okay. I'm gonna let it cool off. Eyeball, going in. Is it edible? It's actually good. Salty? No. And then I got the little. This is all that's the left. Shell, huh? The shell off his eye. And you ate the rest of it, huh? Yep. So, yeah, I eat the whole thing. 
I wish you guys yeah, were down here not already eating eyeballs with us. Yeah, there's the pro from it. I didn't eat the pro. Nope, we saved that. But there's a little, oh, see, this is a little part of it in the back, too. Yeah. Mmm. That part tastes good. Do you yeah. Want the, do you want the other eyeball, Sarah? <laughs> that's all that's left for the eyeball, Sarah. There's one more left. <laughs> There's another Why one. You want to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> eat the other I'm one, good, Sarah? I'm going to save it for you. I'm good. <laughs> so I'm going to get Nick a piece of the chort right here, which has a lot of meat on there. So I see that I have a lot of meat. And give him some of the some of the uh, vegetables some and veg. stuff all over it. Yeah, some carrots, spinach, and zucchini and stuff like that. Oh! Oh, this is a cheek meat right here. Cheek right there. Yes. Now I want to give. I want to give you guys a cheek. Nah, you need the cheek. You sure? Yeah, I got it All this right. time. Yeah, that's a soft and nice cheek there right there. Go. Sarah can get the other cheek if she want. It's on the other side. I gotta flip it over. So yeah, you see all that meat right here? Oh yeah. You see all the meat in here? So easier for just to dig in and eat yeah. it like that, but you can still share a meal out of it. Definitely. So I got the cheek. And that's meat, you know. I never would have cooked or ate before because usually we just fillet and eat the fillets and it's the way we were raised and what we kind of grew up doing. So you, can just, you don't even have to share it as a dish. You can just sit there and eat from it. Just yeah. get a fork and just eat. Now mm -hmm. it looks really good. The question is, how does it taste? I'm going to try it now, Nick. Pretty good? Yes. Good. Sadie oh, yeah. needs a bone-free chunk. Yes. I'm going to give her the other cheek right here for Sadie. Hold on. Shucks. Sadie, ready? Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Here it is. Here it is. Make sure no bones in it. Like Sadie, get the other cheese. <laughs> it's gonna taste like a lollipop, she says. <laughs> I want you to tell me, Sadie, how it is. Mm. Oh, good. How the way it turned out? I love it. Very good. We like fish. Try. Is it yummy? Ma, I like the lollipop. It's like a lollipop? Ma. Do you like, I like it? The pumpkin mm. rice of it. Can you say good job, Mike? Did yeah, that, Mike? Good, right? She said good job, Mike. You good? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Sadie. A three and a half girl approved it. Yeah. You like it? Claire, one day you get to try the, the fish. The rice is really good. I really like the rice. Did you try the fish? fish? Yeah. Fish is good. You want more, sweetie? Yeah. That's a grouper cheek. Good job, Sadie. For real. Mm. All righty. Mike does it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Thank you, guys. I wouldn't have thought about putting... You could put any type of squash with rice like that, and it would be really good. Yeah, just boil it out, and then, you know, put your butter on your salt, and just add your rice. Say, do you want more? Yeah. Say, he's asking for more. So we got yellow edge grouper right there. We got chayote. We got pumpkin rice. Yes. We got it all. I already yes. ate some carrots. Yeah, I'm on. It's good. Super soft there in the oven. Baked it and wound up being a little bit longer than we thought. Yeah. It is really good, though. Delicious. And we seasoned it yesterday. You know, Mike seasoned it yesterday. Had it in the cooler overnight in the Yeti, and um, it just gives it more flavor. It absorbs in it, huh? What is oh, yeah. This? What is this? Chayote. Chayote. What is it? I'm not sure. Um, is it Spanish? They like call a it chayote. It's like a, um, it's hard to describe. It tastes like kind of an onion, but it's like kind of potato, too. I don't yes. Know. It's, it's weird. Yeah. And you know, you can make a meal like this out of fish fillet. You can use your fillets and make a this meal if you don't want to deal Very with good. the bones. Still got a lot of meat in here. You can see the backbone there coming apart. Oh yeah, a lot of meat. See that all that? Meat right there. I saw meat there. You can get a lot of meat out of the head right here. Just gotta sit there and pick on it. Look at this Look at all the white skull. meat. Look at all the white meat there. All white meat out of the skull right here with a piece of skin. And I eat the skin too. Did you eat the skin? Oh yeah, I like the skin. That's why it's clean it off and scale it so good. Hopefully it's not a little bone, but yeah. I mm. bet it's still hot, huh? It's cool down. Yeah, good flavor? I like it. Yes. Look at that. Most people won't eat the skin, but you know, see that's our white meat right there yeah. coming right out that's of there. That's a nice chunk of meat too, you know? Mm. Mm. Oh, that part tastes so good. I gotta try a bite. Yeah, try it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right off the skull, right off the head. Oh yeah, right there. A lot of more meat in the skull right here. Super soft and actually yeah. more similar to the filet on that piece. The throat's like a little more, I would say, denser compared to the top piece there. Yeah. This part, it's like more delicate, right? It is, yeah, very delicate. Yeah. Like it just fell apart right oh, yeah. now. Come in with your hands or whatever, and just take all the meat and eat it. Look at that. Beautiful. A lot of meat right here. This alone could be just filling your stomach with all this meat right here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that right there right is right gonna feed a few people at least. And if you guys wanna try something different, you know, I'd say give it a shot. Yeah, if any's left when I'm done, <laughs> I might eat it off, you know? Cause I'm enjoying this dish right now. Long time I never made something like this, but this is good. Respect. Good job, Mike. Yeah.
All right, you guys, we're getting back to the girls. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Mike, thanks for cooking. You want us to hate anybody? Yeah, man, I want to just big up all of the fans, them, you know, and just big up for all of the comments. Big up to my family and all the friends. Big up to Buddy and Mary, Jamaica Mike, having a good time, you know. See so, ya, yeah, man. Rock and roll. Respect. Yeah, yeah. All right, hopefully we'll see you guys down here at Bud and Mary's. Come on down, go fishing. And um, everybody that stopped by said, hey, that bought a shirt there, ordered a shirt online. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we got some new exciting stuff coming soon. So we'll see you then. Time to go. The baby's getting cranky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say bye. Thomas, smash the like button.